That's beautiful. Hi, I'm Rich Tannis from RC Twins. Now that right back there is a Straga. All right, and that has a counter-rotating setup on it. But today, I made a little bit bigger unit out of some Tomcat G160s. That's gonna produce about 6,000 watts. Uh, by the time it's all done, we're gonna run them on 12S, and we'll show you what that's all about. All right, so here's a pair of Tomcat G160s. Now, we've done a little bit of modification. So this motor spins the front prop. This one spins the rear prop. I made an adapter that goes up in here that I'll get a little bit more detail with later. And then I made a couple of spinners that cut off a carbon one. And that's got a little bit of a cuff here. It's just a little bit bigger and that's okay. Air will flow over and then through and cool the motors. And then also an airflow spinner on the front. And right here, this is the piece that I was talking about earlier. And that uh, is the new nose piece. Very similar to what comes on the motor. It bolts right onto the housing here. But what you do is you clear out this housing and then the bearings are in the back end of this unit in the front end of this unit and a 15 millimeter and a 12 millimeter with an eight millimeter shaft running through in between. I use ceramic bearings from Acer and, um, and it's about a, a little over an inch and a half from right here to here, almost an inch and five eighths uh, front to back. And that gave enough stability because that's really what that whole bell uh, right here, the can of the motor is running on. And uh, so clearance hole in this, bearing, bearing in here clearance hole through the piece and that is how that piece is done that's a 5 8 fine thread you could do a metric style which would almost be better a 16 millimeter because uh, that's what the Mieslik props are that we're running so once you've roughed out your prop adapter and made it look something like this maybe left uh, where the threads are here maybe left 30 or 40 thousandths on it uh, and left some stock on here and there you turn it around, you drill the hole, which would be an eight, uh, nine millimeter hole through uh, clearance. So you take that out of the lathe. Right here is a standard prop adapter uh, for a G160 motor. You can see I, I put a bearing in the back end. That's a 15 millimeter bearing. And that way I could make that right to the back end uh, of this shaft here and transfer those holes through. Um, and, uh, and that's how I got the exact alignment on those holes. And if you drill from the back end, the mounting surface side, you don't have to worry as much about angular. Um, and because if you drilled them from the front, if you could, uh, you could, they could be off a mile. All right, so the new prop adapter. This is a standard one, but I'm just making by example. Well, now you need to get the bearing on the other end. It's got to be concentric perfectly. And the whole shaft and everything cannot wobble at all. So what you do, as you mount this device, this is just a slug, into the, the lathe, you turn this hub, which is going to fit exactly with the back end of this piece right here, right on there. So now, since you just turn this piece in the lathe, you're not letting it go, you can transfer, you take your drill, transfer your holes, drill and tap it right while it's on the lathe, okay? They're just small holes, you can get away with that. Drill and tap it right on the lathe, you pull this part off, okay, because that's what you use the prop adapter, the old one, to transfer those holes through. Then you can take your new piece and bolt it right on there. And now everything you're going to turn out here, including this bearing bore, has to be square, perpendicular, and concentric with the bores and things on the back side of this part. And that is how that's done. And you can see these Mieslik uh, propellers that we're using. A lot of people make a mistake of not putting enough pitch on their contra-rotating setup. The, the key, really, to making electric work uh, and, and not burn up is enough airflow. You can see airflow going through everywhere. There it is. Ready to do some damage. That's got to be the coolest thing going, man. <laughs> this thing's just gonna rip. Oh man, makes you want it. 